this story is about a man coming to grips with his own anger and the idea of what it is to be a father. The thing that intrigued me about this story from the get-go was the idea that it's a guy who has gotten by on his rage and his own anger. He made a career out of it, um, had great success, made lots of money from it, and you meet him at the top of his game. And then it's a journey um, about taking responsibility and how that anger can actually indirectly kind of destroy you. Um, and coming to grips with that feeling and learning how to become a father, like a young father. There's a visceral aspect to the, to the fighting, to the, the, the accuracy and the science of boxing that's in this movie that I, I haven't seen in a film. Well, Antoine and I said to each other early on before we started this, this movie's about sacrifice. It's about, you know, that's what the movie's about. It's about, that's what Billy has to do when he's training, and ultimately that's what Billy has to do when he decides to grow up. And, and so Antoine decided that he would come with me on the physical journey. And that was, it was amazing. It was amazing to have your director there with you, saying, like, pushing you every day. It was a journey of five months of preparation together, going to fight after fight, professional fights, and then training two times a day. He, Anton would come to my first training session and train with me almost every single day. And then, you know, I would then go off and I'd come back again at the end of the day and I would train on my own. But it was about the promise of creating something. It was about the promise of a character evolving into something that that was what I love about the character. Billy's journey towards Tick is a journey towards having to face himself. And when you think about Forrest Whitaker, I think there's a sense that he's not really afraid to go anywhere. You know, he's not an actor that is, you know, gonna take something lightly. It was a coup, like it was a coup for us to get Forrest. Every person who sees, always every person who sees the movie there's this thing that happens when Forrest comes on screen where they'll turn or they'll see the trailer or something and they'll turn and they'll say, oh, I love Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> it's like, everybody says it. It's like, it's like, what is, I mean, I spent a lot, I'm like, yeah, he's cool. <laughs> but everybody says it. I mean, literally, oh, they like sit back in their chair like, oh, it's Forrest Whitaker, oh, great. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> Antoine Fuqua was the reason why I was really interested in it. I mean, from I had met him years before, and I remember the first thing he ever said to me was, he's like, I, I see something in you that I don't think people have seen before. And at the time, I feel like I dismissed that as sort of like Hollywood talk, you know? But um, he, when we met again about this project, he insisted that he, he really felt that way and has always felt that way about me. And, you know, when someone has that type of, someone with that kind of talent has that type of belief in someone, they can see something that, you know, you can't necessarily see. Um, you know, I'm deeply intrigued. His filmmaking is just hyper strong, dark in a way, like hardcore, which is why I think people love it. There's a aggressiveness to it. There's an aggression to his filmmaking. There's a strength to it. Um, I think he has a huge heart. And I think that's why we made this movie. And I think that's what he wanted from me. And he also wanted to see my own aggression. And he brought it out. And the only way you can be true to your feelings is when you trust somebody. And his patience, like I said, and his own heart and his kindness allowed me to sort of give him anything. I'll give him anything. I'll do anything for him. Rachel, above all, was so committed. I mean, like, I've never really, you know, she came in two weeks before we started in the rehearsals and we were rehearsing scenes and improv scenes and trying new things out. And that was inspiring to me. You know, she was committed knowing that this relationship that these two characters had was essential to the movie working. And that she somewhere is really the heart of the film. That she is the drive and the fuel, her character of this, of, of Billy Hope and, and ultimately Layla Hope, his daughter and their kid. She's the fuel for the two of them. And so she knew and that however real that was, was however real the movie was going to be.
underneath anger is vulnerability, some kind of hurt. And I think that's what Billy shows somewhere. It's what he's able to face through a series of life circumstances that are unfortunate, but that he learns from. And I think he comes out really a real man and, a, and a, has the ability to be a father as a result of that. And I, I love that idea, you know, whether you're a father or a mother or sister or brother or not, that, you know, what's underneath you? What are those things that make us vulnerable and make us human beings? Also, on the opposite end of that, I think everyone's got a beast in them. Everyone's got a fighter inside them. Everyone has something that they can fight for, that there's no reason to give up, that there is every reason when you believe in something and you believe in your life to keep fighting.